So uh, we are Sea Machines and um, we build autonomous technology for boats and ships. And today we're in beautiful Portland uh, demonstrating the, the value of autonomous technology for the marine and maritime industries and specifically today uh, for that critical task of oil spill response. We are uh, doing this demonstration that's funded by the Department of Transportation, uh, Maritime Administration, and it's a collaboration with uh, MSRC, the nation's largest uh, oil spill response company. What folks will see today is the Sea Machines uh, SM300, which is our flagship product, mm -hmm. uh, in real operation on water on a Quijack skimmer vessel. So the Sea Machines uh, SM300 system has a number of workflows, uh, capabilities that it provides to uh, the commander of the vessel. Uh, one of them is Waypoint, where you can point and click and set a speed and the vessel will do that operation from beginning to end. Another operation that the Sea Machines 300 system can do is a grid pattern over a broad area. Mm -hmm. And this is very useful for, for oil spill skimming. You, you're, you're going back and forth, running those lines to clean up the oil and remove it from the water. The Sea Machines 300 system enables remote operation. So the operator will be on shore and the vessel is, is doing its task out on water. Uh, another thing that uh, you come across on water is obstacles or traffic. So the Sea Machines 300 system has the capability uh, to have real-time situational awareness using radar, the AIS system, to monitor the obstacles and then, and then avoid them. Our technology enables everything all the way to unmanned operations of vessels, but the system can also be used hand-in-hand -hand with a crew. So our system is already is developed to be able to turn on pumps, uh, turn them off, and on this boat specifically you have the skimmer, which is the payload, and uh, the skimmer is remote controlled uh, via the Sea Machine system as well. Mariner safety is the most important thing that we focus on, not only during spill responses, but during any of our operations. The use of autonomous technology allows us to keep people off the water as much as possible, which is obviously an increase of safety. And the other consideration for the technology is fatigue. There are going to be times when uh, we have to do crew changes and, and all that. And if we can reduce those, that keeps people safer. The ability to either operate the vessel with the belt pack or through a computer program uh, is, we think, is very successful, mm -hmm. and um, and we think that's the kind of technology that we need to to improve our safety. Response timing is critical, and the sooner we can get to a spill, the sooner we can corral it and, and control it, the less damage it will do. And the technology we saw today is cl a clear example of how remote systems can help us be more efficient with that and respond quicker. Oh, I think marine autonomy is the future, and uh, our workforce is aging. Uh, people have less desire to go into the industry, so the more that we can automate our processes and our equipment, the more efficient we're going to be. This is very important. This is the future of our industry, and if our industry is going to be competitive and safer and evolve, it has to, it has to look at remote technologies.